Patrick McNeil back here with you at the intermission and joined now by Cape Breton Eagles forward Julian Ebert in his first year with the Eagles veteran in the league. Julian, what are your thoughts on the year thus far for yourself and your Eagles? I think for myself, I'm playing a more defensive role on the team and I like it because I used to be more of a forward with skills and a good hockey IQ and put some more points on the board and playing offensively. But I think this year more than a PK guy that play defensively. And, and for the team, I think we have some good stretch and bad stretch. It happens, but I think we're going to bounce back, take some points on the board to make sure we make the playoff and be in a good position. You get traded to Cape Breton in the off season, coming over from Shakutami. What was your reaction upon finding out you were going to be playing for the Eagles? I think it was a new start for me. After the second half of the season in Chikotimi, I did not play like all the coaching staff. Not waiting for me, but I don't know how to say that. I don't think I played really good the second half. They just trained me, and I think it was a good opportunity to me to step up and get back in the game. You've had the chance to play for four different teams in the queue. You break through with Moncton, then Bay Camo, then Shakutami, and now Cape Breton. Has it been hard to have to get used to new places, or do you look at it as a positive, the fact that you've had the chance to experience a lot of the league? Yes, because I think I see some. I play with Moncton, and this year they were really good. I play with very good team and some team that are in rebels, so I see all the... Everything the league has to offer, so to speak? Yeah, yeah. Speaking of playing with Shikutami, you get to play on the big ice during your time with yeah, the Seg game. How, how different is that for a player when you have the 200 by 100 as your home ice surface? Do you have to change how you play? Not change how you play, but you feel it when you're on the ice that you have more time, more space to make some play. And I think it's an advantage for some players and a disadvantage for some others. Interesting to note, you, in your rookie season, get traded from Moncton to Bay Camo, and John Goins is the head coach in Bay Camo at that time, and now you're reunited with him. Does it feel like you're under the same coach, or would he have changed a fair bit in his coaching style, do you think, since you would have had him as a rookie? Yeah, I already know John, and I already know him before Bay Camo because I play against him in Major Triple A. I know him a bit because when I was playing in Major Triple A, we were a really good team, and they beat us in the playoff. So I already know him, but he's a good coach, and he coached the same. He was coaching in Bacamo. Hockey world is small, I guess. Everybody kind of knows everybody, even if they haven't been on the same team. You get to wear a letter coming to Cape Breton. Just how much does that responsibility mean to you to have an A on your jersey? So I'm like big brother to all the rookies, and I have a veteran that can hear what you want to say, and a positive guy around the, the room, and I feel like take like I get the responsibility to have a positive mind around the team. People were talking about how you ended up playing some defense recently. You played a few shifts on the blue line against Halifax, and then you end up playing a full game on defense in the game against Sherbrooke. Not an easy task, a pretty strong team. How did that come to be that you could play defense, and how did you enjoy doing that? I really enjoy playing defense because I feel like it was not a mission, but a challenge for me to sure. play defense. And I already have two brothers who play defense, so sometimes I watch them, I learn from them. So I already know how to play defense, but in any fact, Shortall was out and Thurston was hurt. So I just told John, I can play D if you want because I know he's short. So he just tried me and after Thurston got back. After the next game in Sherbrooke, Thurston was sick and Shortall was out. So he just called me before the game. He said, you're going to play D tonight. So make sure you're ready. And I think I did good. Certainly an interesting experience. I'm sure the coaches gain respect for you because you're willing to do something else that really benefits the team. This came up in an interview recently with Charles Boutin, how he talked about he played at the International Pee Wee Tournament in Quebec in both the Old Colisee and the New Rink, and I think that you did as well. How cool was getting to experience that tournament in both the Old and New Rink? Yeah, it was really good because the first year I was in the Old Rink. When I was young, I used to go see the Quebec team on the queue. It was like, when you're young, it's like the elite, so it was really fun to go there, so it was really fun to play on it. The second year, it was the first tournament on the new rink of the San Videotron, so it was really fun to it. You also were able to attend U17 Development Camp for Hockey Canada. Just tell us about getting some international experience there. It was very fun. I think it was my most fun tournament because I played with some great players and against great players like Shane Wright, Connor Bedard. 
I've some knows about our key, about good hockey player now. The Eagles make a number of trades in the preseason, one of which sees you come to Cape Breton, and a couple of trades that we see during the trade period as well. Now that you've got a chance to meet all the new guys, how do you think the chemistry is coming together with this new group? I think Sylvain did a really good job in the trade, and the new guy, I really love them. I think they're all part of their leadership group, and they all bring something special on the team. And I think the team is going in the right direction. If somebody hadn't seen you play before, how would you describe Julian Bear as a player? A stability player that can play 200 feet, can play offensively, can play defensively. A trust player you can put on the ice at the end of the game and whenever you want. A team guy. Coaches will always appreciate that type of reliability. Thanks for this, Julian. Best of luck the rest of the season. Thank you. You're welcome, yeah. Pat. That is Eagles Four Julian Bear joining us at the intermission. You're listening to Cape Breton Credit Union, Eagles Hockey, 1270 CJCB.